All right, guys, well, we are jumping right on into it. Today, we're going to be talking about this Stinger Quad Aerator 3000. Check this thing out. In today's video, I want to share with you guys a little bit of the equipment here that we're going to be using and talk to you guys about aerations and why it's such a great way to make money both spring and fall. A little 360 on this machine really quick before we get started. Uh, this is sponsored content. Stinger wanted to get in front of you guys and frankly, this machine is awesome. Let me tell you why. For those of you guys that are starting a lawn and landscaping business, welcome to the channel. We're all about helping you guys grow a more successful business so you guys can go out there and crush it. Today, I wanna to talk about aerations. It's a super profitable part of our company, super profitable part of probably your company, or maybe you're looking to expand into it or even take it to the next level. I wanna to talk to you guys about this machine and where it comes into play. This aeration machine, how do I best say it? Technology came out a couple years ago for stand on aerator machines, and then it kind of leveled off right and those were a game changer for any of us that use walk behind machines for the first 10 20 years of our business right uh, i've used all the brands all the different walk behind machines they're fine but uh they beat you up okay and they're not super productive about five six seven years ago all the brands started coming out with their stand on aerator machines they're all chain driven and at the time they were a game changer super grateful for all the technology that came out because it allowed us to double triple our productivity and we made a ton of money over the years with aeration overseeding but the technology kind of flatlined right until this guy came out just a couple years ago now i'm telling you what if you guys are in the market for an aerator if i was going to do it all over again i'm not even kidding this is exactly where i would start and the reason is because this machine is 50 to 60 percent more productive than any of the other chain machines out there bar none and that doesn't even count the seed to surface contact with the seed box that is patent pending that's exclusive to the aerator okay so the stinger brand so let's do this really quick let me show you guys a walk around we're going to talk about making some money with aerations and then of course let's go do some aerations actually make some money and get dirty all right so again coming at you guys really quick you got a kawasaki engine don't quote me on the horsepower but it's the 651 uh probably north of 15 18 20 horsepower maybe even more you got these large solid front casters big beefy wheels you got the hydraulic motors in here and again this is going to be different than a lot of the competitor machines you've got the large rear wheels some of the other machines have a lot smaller way more narrow tires you've got the operator platform and then also the button built into the platform down here a couple other features here beautiful bolstered pad really nice design kind of look like a like a gray carbon fiber looks really slick and then this kind of operates like a stand-on mower more than it does an aerator, if I'm honest with you. Uh, six gallon capacity gas tank, best I understand. The seed box is optional, just so we're clear. Uh, it's an upgrade, it's an option. This whole machine as is, is around 13s. You have the seed box, you're gonna be 14, 15, depending on where you're at in the country, the prices, the incentives, sales, all that fun stuff, all right? Now, you also have your tine adjustment for your pressure, your choke with a carbureted engine, your throttle, hour meter, and then the tines. And something that's a little unique to this is sometimes it gets a little exhausting uh, holding down this button all freaking day when you're doing large sites. So you can actually invert it to where if you hit it down, the machine will always have the tines engaged and you use this to bring them up versus most machines. And how I kind of grew up on the machines was, you know, hitting the button to engage the tines. Uh, but if you're doing large acre properties, I would just leave that down. That way you don't have to worry about keeping your foot on the pedal, right? So the big claim to fame here is the productivity. We're talking 50 to 60% more efficient than other machines. But the other big thing is how minimal the maintenance is compared to those other pieces of equipment because of the chain. So let me see if I can get under here. And I wanna spend some time on this because it's very important. You see all those tines on there, those core aerators, those core tines, there's no chains. And anybody that knows any of the aeration machines out there, you know how painful it is if you have a broken chain or a chain that's loose, then you gotta do some maintenance, some servicing. You guys see any chains under there? No more chains. So back in the day, anything greater than this kind of a hill, you couldn't go side to side. You'd have to go up and down so you don't pop a chain. We've all been there with some of the other competitors. But with this machine, now you can go up or down or sideways and you can make time on those hills. You're not bottlenecked and they're just going up and down, for example, all right? So we've done a lot of aeration videos over the years talking about prices and what we charge for aeration and overseed. I'll try to leave a couple cards here so you guys can check that out. Today, we're just gonna focus on the productivity, the performance of the Stinger aerator. Now, like I said at the top of the hour, if I was gonna get started doing aerations and overseeding, 100%, this is where I'd start. 
Two reasons, like I said at the top of the hour again, the productivity of this machine, and number two, this seed box that trickles that seed all the way down into those cores and gets it right into the holes. That is exclusive to this machine. And if you're talking about seed to soil contact, nobody's gonna do it better than this Stinger aerator, right? I'll tell you guys what, I am a big believer of this machine. I've already demoed it a couple times at equipment shows and trade shows, and we finally got our hands on one. So let's go put it into the field. Let's go do some core aerating. I'll show you guys how it works. All right, so let's start this thing off. Parking brake on. By the way, here's that seed box. Uh, there's a whole chart here, so you guys can know how fast that you want it to be filtering through here. Let's see if we can pop this up. I think it's 80, I don't know, 50 to 80 pound capacity. I forget what it is, but it's quite a bit. All that seed's gonna trickle right through there. It hops down, there's a chamber right here where it all folds down and filters down through. It's pretty dope. Not gonna be showing that today. Possibly next year, spring, we'll show you guys what's going on. Aerations are a huge part of our business. A lot of money, good profit generator in the spring to start cash flowing. Sorry, Dave. So let me come at you guys for just a quick second. If this was a subdivision lawn, right? And that didn't even take us but, what, five minutes maybe real time? Well, that's pretty freaking crazy. If this was a 4,000 square foot subdivision home, this right here would be pretty typical for the backyard. That is so freaking fast. Uh, don't quote me, I think miles per hour, seven forward, three back. Uh, the chain driven machines from some of the competitors, you'd be lucky to get half that. Now, from a walk behind machine, game changer to a stand on chain machine. But that's where the technology, like I said earlier, kind of petered out. And now you got this machine, holy freaking cow. Uh, true story, Liz and I live at a apartment complex, a little bit nicer apartment complex, which just means like you have a garage and two bedrooms. <laughs> but uh, the funny thing was, there's two of these machines just roaring through just the other day. They're putting a lot of money. One of the big companies here locally uh, takes care of it. They've been doing a lot of money to do uh, turf renovation, landscape renovation, enhancements there. And no joke, they had two of these machines running around. At first I thought somebody stole our machine. I was like, no way, because it was in my garage. Here's the bottom line, folks. For those of you guys that are thinking about ways to generate more money in your business, aeration overseed is one of the best ways to do it. The big guys know that, the medium sized guys know that, and for us that have smaller companies, maybe zero to half a million, a machine like this would 100% be a game changer for you. Also, for those of you guys that are out in the fertilizer uh, industry side of things, you guys know how much money is in aeration overseas, especially in the fall, at least up here in the Midwest. You know, you could have two, four, five thousand dollar days all day long. So we do all the time with the chain driven machine. So if this thing is almost doubly productive. Imagine the kind of uh, growth and gains we can get from this kind of a machine. I know I was talking to Dave, the uh, uh, founder of Stinger. He was saying there's guys out there that are having four or five, six thousand dollar days with this machine. And uh, for any of you guys that have fertilizer uh, aeration businesses with overseeding, you guys can probably relate. All right, guys. Well, that's probably where I'm going to be cutting the video here just for today. Just a quick little introduction and demo on the Stinger aerator, the QA 3000. You guys need to go check it out at your local dealer. These things are freaking crazy productive, like I was saying in this whole video. And there's a lot of money to be made in aeration and overseed. We're throwing it here in the lock here because we're going to be doing a couple more videos here over the next week or two hopefully a couple more residential aerations if i can get some time i'll try to get this uh, back out on the youtube channel but if you guys have any questions leave me some comments down below and then also if you guys have one of these machines uh love to hear your thoughts how it's working for you out there in the field how's the uh service how's the warranty how's the productivity and the profitability for you guys out there as you guys are growing your lawn and landscaping business all right guys that being said that's all i got for you on today's video check that thing out look at that thing is awesome all right we'll catch up with you guys here on the next one